All right, guys, so this is what you're gonna do to activate the mirroring on these units. So this is on the, all the Kenwood units with Apple CarPlay and built-in Wi-Fi. So this is the DDX9017, which is your standard double DIN, and basically the next one down, which will be the 917 widescreen for the Toyotas. But we're gonna give you this little patch file. We're gonna make it available on our website. And all you need to do is actually just plug it into any of the USBs and wait 15 seconds and then restart the unit. And we're gonna show you, it's gonna activate a new feature in here. So that's just been reset. And what you're gonna notice now, when we go into air mirroring, it's now gonna say connection switch, which wasn't there before. And you're gonna to go to wireless link, okay? And that's gonna be for all the Apple phones so they can do the wireless mirroring. Be aware that the wireless mirroring is actually only one way for the Apple, but it's still pretty handy if you wanna use Google Maps instead of the Apple Maps. So we're gonna go into our Wi-Fi settings and this will actually come up with its own little Wi-Fi called Car Multimedia. You can rename it later. You're going to type in the password. And that's going to take a few seconds to connect. So there we've connected it to the Wi-Fi guys. And then from there you can swipe up and go to AirPlay Mirroring and you'll find Car Multimedia. Sometimes you'll have to repair the Wi-Fi to get this to work. But there you can see it will mirror anything off your phone for the Apple. Um, like I said, it's not two-way compatible, but it is really, really cool. If you want to run Google Maps or something different rather than the Apple CarPlay Maps, then you can certainly do that. You can even run uh, videos, etc. So that's a cool way to activate that. We're going to put it on our website so you can download that for the wireless, um, the units with the built-in Wi-Fi.